Last year, BBC Children in Need raised a record £60 million, helping children right across the UK. Now we want to do it all over again. Yes, that's why Ed and I are here in Newbury and somewhere Pudsy's around too. Should we get a look for him? Yeah, I think he might be down the towpath. Oh, there you are, Pudsy. Pudsy, we're off to meet some fundraisers. Come on and play in the garden. So tell us what you've been doing to raise money for BBC Children in Need. Well, this year we started to run garden parties. About 200 people turned up and we wow. cooked cakes. In fact, the whole neighbourhood came out and cooked cakes, which was fantastic. The table was about eight foot long <laughs> and just full of cakes. <laughs> I think I had one piece all day long. What's the response been from the community then? What is really heartwarming is the generosity of people and the local neighbours and friends who dug out and baked cakes. Just so easy to do, you know, quick as a flash, we'd raise £300. And of course, we'd love you to get involved in fundraising. Yes, this year's theme is Do Your Thing, so whether it's fancy dress or baking for the bear, why not have a go? The King's Theatre in South Sea held a gala evening with local acts, including the Portsmouth Players, who sang songs from The Wizard of Oz. I watched Children in Need um, and thought I need to do something to help in some way. So I thought with all these young people around me, we can raise some money for a, a fantastic cause. Oh, get you a bed to you, my <laughs> And Sarah, so you're already getting into the spirit of things. Yes, I've brought my very own red ruby slippers along because one of the songs from The Wizard of Oz is going to play a very important part in this year's appeal. One, two. On the 17th of November, we'll be here at Brockhurst and Marlston House Schools. And Sarah, what a beautiful building. Let's take a look inside. These young people are part of the Children in Need Choir. Their performance will be a big moment on appeal day, so they're rehearsing hard. Three. Quite exciting, because I've never done anything on my TV before. It's really quite amazing. You can do something you really enjoy, like singing, and know that it's helping people who you've never met. I really hope that we'll get loads of money for the um, children in need. I think it will sound amazing, and I think it will be brilliant. The Miss Rowley's worked very hard as well. <laughs> Are you quite a strict choir master? Always. No. <laughs> <laughs> On the night, you're going to have 200 plus Can't in your wait. choir. Can't wait. How will it be to manage those different choirs coming together, singing together for the first time on the night? Well, obviously we'll have a good rehearsal beforehand, see where, where we're at and then just go from there. But uh, I think they'll, they'll enjoy it and again I'll enjoy it. It's a great experience for them as well as myself. I had goosebumps just watching rehearsals. I can't wait for the big night. And don't forget, if you're fundraising, get in touch. Yeah, we'd love to see the pictures of you putting on your pudsy ears, especially if it's taken somewhere rather special or a bit unusual. Email us south.today at bbc.co.uk. One final thing. Does anybody here want to go and meet Pudsy Bear? Yeah!